Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my first impressions of GoodNotes 5. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. <music> After what feels like a century, GoodNotes 5 is finally out. It is available for free if you have GoodNotes 4, which I'm happy about because I'm not a fan of paid updates. So the first thing I noticed is that the logo is slightly changed. Slightly. The new one definitely looks better. You know, you can just tell that it's the 2019 version. The homepage in GoodNotes 5 has a modern look and that's to be expected of course. It looks smoother and cleaner. I love the fact that GoodNotes dropped the drop down menu navigation. That was a pain to navigate through and this new setup allows me to see all my documents at a glance and it is much more efficient. Absolutely love it. Well done GoodNotes team. You can now have folders within folders within folders within folders within folders i can go on and on and on in goodnotes 5. for those of you who wanted this they have delivered you can potentially get an infinite folder system in goodnotes 5 which is fantastic i get the feeling that the application looks like not shelf 2. it's just a vibe i'm getting from the application anybody else feel like that no is it just me Anyway, you can also switch between the list view and the thumbnail view, whichever floats your boat. It's good to have options, I always say. So I love the fact that they have changed the way you navigate through your notes in this application and the new version, the new way of navigating is excellent. I love it. The quick note function. Good notes, you didn't have to. Really, I'm touched. <laughs> Simply double tap the plus icon and you are taken to a new note where you can just start writing. It is very useful, so useful, especially if you don't have time to be creating a notebook. I've always found that in good notes, uh, the fact that you have to choose your paper template and choose your cover, it's all great to do that if you have the time. But if you don't have the time and you just want to make a quick note, you can just double tap and you have your new note ready to go. It's just a quicker way to get you started in the application. So while your notebooks in GoodNotes typically have a cover, a quick note doesn't. And that identifies it for me. I will know this is disposable. And so when I go for it or when I go into the app and I'm looking through my rough notes, I know where to find them. Still on the homepage, you have the option to import your documents from GoodNotes 4. And the import of my one notebook was a walk in the park. But um, take that with a pinch of salt. I wasn't an avid user of GoodNotes 4 and it might take you longer if you have more documents. The third thing that caught my eye is that the developers have also dropped the menu thing for your templates as well. Basically for you to navigate through all templates you have in GoodNotes. It was a bit of a pain. It was organized and that was beautiful. Now they still have the organization but you can see all the templates at a glance. They have also added more paper size support and and this is where GoodNotes shines, generally speaking. It is very important for an application to support many different paper sizes. I see myself leaving Notability already. Anyway, um, so GoodNotes 5 now supports both vertical and horizontal scrolling. Smart move very smooth um they get to keep their older fans you know those who prefer horizontal scrolling and get new ones like me who love vertical scrolling in my opinion the ultimate update is the improved fountain pen the one reason i wasn't using good notes was because my handwriting just didn't look good in the application but now with the new tool my handwriting is looking fantastic i can't believe my eyes honestly the handwriting is smooth my hand is not hurting my cursive handwriting beautiful obviously i'm not going to you know try and write beautiful looking anything in the app right now but um this good notes 5 has won my heart i say this all the time if my handwriting in an application looks bad or if my handwriting feels terrible i honestly don't see the point of using the application i'm curious to know how older good notes users feel about this change um is the handwriting experience better for you now or will you be going back to good notes 4 let me know in the comment section down below this is really an exciting improvement and they've also added a new type of pen the brush pen which is i feel an intermediate version between the bowl and the fountain pen 
I can now make quick changes to my file name. I can rename it and I can change the folder it's in. And I just feel like at this point, the Good Notes team is now just showing off, showing us their coding skills, which obviously is great for us users. And you, you can also get to see the last update you did on your notes. Fancy, fancy, really fancy, fancy. <laughs> And of course, I can't end this video without saying something I don't like about the new good notes because that would just make me superficial, wouldn't it? Hmm, the truth is there's not much to dislike at this point. Jeez, I just I just have to say that good notes right now, to me, it feels like Note Shelf 2. I ju I'm just getting the Note Shelf 2 vibe. Not sure if it's the colors or if it's the font that they're using and I'm not sure, but I'm just getting this, you know. Yeah, love the new update. What questions would you guys like me to answer in the next review of Good Notes uh, when I do the full review of Good Notes 5? And are you loving the update? Please let me know. Is it worth upgrading? The answer is yes, because it's free if you already have good notes. It is definitely a better buy for new users. Will it replace my notability? I'm curious to find out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.